what impresses you right now when you go see, you know, let's say you're going to judge mm -hmm. a competition of DJs. What's like something that I, like, give me something that should be a fundamental and then something that, that you've seen recently that was like, wow, that's, that's next level. In my recent competition. Uh, and tell, tell the people a little bit about this because you, you know, you're representing Halley. You're yeah. Representing uh, East Coast. It, it was my third time being a finalist in nationals mm -hmm. two times. It would be my second time in a row. My first time was a couple of years ago. Um, uh, yeah, just, you know what? It's really great that pe when you see people digging deep in d into different genres and still making it work okay. and without the crowd, like, looking up at you and be like, what the heck? And yeah. going for a drink. That's when the moments <laughs> are like, you know, when they're doing awesome song transitions or just, yeah, again, like, if you can bring in any song and still make it work, in your set and without like stopping or like people questioning in it then that that's basically that's what this, this competition the red bull three style is about mm. and it's just about like incorporating at least three genres people do more mm. but i mean however it works for you when you're trying to incorporate different genres do you start out on the edge like do you go find something that you like that's like it's sort of far away from hip-hop or something like that and then try to come back to hip-hop with it i know that's a weird way to me describe it or, mm -hmm. or do you like start making some sort of central kind of hip-hop spine to this whole thing and like let me hang a leaf that's weird on it you know what my analogies get a little bit off it's, it's okay <laughs> um for making sets for competitions such as that <laughs> the hardest part for me personally is an intro Really? Um, yeah really yeah it's like an intro and a good outro because you want to like okay let's say if the last person killed it or didn't kill it right you need, you need okay, like, up next yeah you need a moment yeah. where the crowd is sense. like okay what's this guy gonna do even if it's for, for 30 seconds and then you go into your set and you have to make them remember you a i mean if you crash and burn make it awesome mm -hmm. or if you do really well make it awesome so <laughs> what i get stuck on i can be working on a set for days and i will still be stuck on like Not i'll be kidding. stressed out like i i was talking to my girlfriend and i'm like i can't get by the first two minutes because i need like i had other songs planned in my set but i was like you need to i get was to so them. focused on this intro you know I just yeah it's uh, that's how I work and then I don't know how I go from there mm. I don't know it's, it's something if I like heard something a couple of days ago a couple of years ago or if I'm just scrolling through my library of music and I'm like you know what that, that was a good song I'm gonna start with that or I mean my last intro that got me to nationals it was from Ric Flair 19, 1988 promo right because he was talking about himself yeah he's like ladies and gentlemen I'm the man I'm the man look at me blah 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 like typical Ric Flair typical awesomeness and I was like you know what it's good let's bring some WWF back into it it's always in, you know they got some great characters so Definitely. why not take from there take some and you're like that larger than life persona in a way in these mm -hmm. kind of competitions it's like you know, I like to be very animated for my competitions. Yeah, I'm generally people. I don't know. I I I, I, don't, know, I don't know. I'm just yeah. I like to <laughs> like people and usually enjoy. They say very like Z Trip was like yeah, you're ridiculous. <laughs> you. So. I mean, I don't. We don't really know each other really at all. But mm. you always seem really happy when you're <laughs> like you look happy, comfortable, and like. This is fun. Yeah, yeah. And I think that alone, I mean, that might sound basic, no. but that is what you want. Like, no, in, a, in a person running the room, and a yeah. person, like, setting them the mood, yeah. totally, you want someone who's like, this is fun, and I'm into That's, this, and I'm rocking this, and, you, and you're just like, when I'm even at home watching, uh, you know, repeat, or like, on YouTube or something, I'm like, that's how I feel. Yeah. So it transmits through that. You know? That's, it's so funny because you see, I mean, you know, you can put it in any kind of competition, basketball, javelin, <laughs> swimming. Well, it's too javelin. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. No, but it's just generally, you see how people prepare and even days of the competition. Like I will see people constantly practice, practice, practice in the practice room constantly every day. People just totally like kind of stressed out, zoned out. And I mean, me personally, I'm a pretty happy go lucky guy. I'm confident in my set. I practice it like, you know, yeah. night and day at home. And I'm confident in that. But I mean, also, you have to look at it like, look at where I'm getting free, free flight, free hotel, get to connect with awesome people. Take it in. Yeah. If you don't take it in, then you're, you're wasting the competition itself. 
If, if you, I mean, yes, you want to win. But the biggest thing is if you don't connect with the people each year, or even if you get to that's the you have to do that well, as a DJ or as an artist, as just anybody, even working at a, a job. If you leave your last job, you should at least be making connections higher than yourself so you can, you know, elevate yourself for the next opportunity.